Okay, so new iOS update drops and instantly everyone's a tech guru, right? <laughs> but like, how do you figure out what actually matters to you with all that noise? Well, that's what we're here for. Yeah, exactly. This deep dive is all about getting past the iOS 18 hype and finding those features that'll actually make your digital life, you know, smoother, better, and maybe even a bit more fun. We've dug through a mountain of reviews and user comments to bring you just the need to know on iOS 18. And we're focusing on what actually matters to you, getting things done quicker, making your iPhone really yours, and you know, unearthing those little gems that make you go, how did I live without this? Seriously, those aha moments are the best. And speaking of, let's talk about something everyone's buzzing about that completely redesigned home screen. Yeah, it's not just a fresh coat of paint. It's like Apple finally gave you the keys to their design studio. You can put apps wherever you want. No more rigid grid we're all used to. But get this. Imagine a home screen that changes based on, say, your location or the time of day, like switching between light and dark icons to match your vibe. OK, now that's just cool. Having your iPhone adapt to you for once. Exactly. Personalization is key. Yeah. And this continues with the control center. It got a big revamp in iOS 18. Mm -hmm. No more digging through menus. They finally heard our efficiency prayers. Tell me about it. So what's the scoop on these control center changes? Think of it like decluttering your digital life. You can resize those essential widgets, move toggles around like you're rearranging furniture to find that perfect setup, even assign any control to the action button for instant access. Want to jump straight to Apple Pay or activate a favorite accessibility feature? Now you can. I am loving this action button customization. It's the small things that make the big difference. But you know what else needs a serious declutter? My Photos app. It's like a black hole of memories in there. Oh, tell me about it. But with iOS 18, get ready to say goodbye to endless scrolling. The Photos app is totally redesigned to put your most important photos front and center. OK, how does it actually work? Does it read my mind or something? It's pretty close. The Photos app actually analyzes your viewing habits to figure out what matters most to you. So if you're always looking at pictures of your dog or that trip to Italy, the app prioritizes those, making them way easier to find. So no more endless camera roll scrolling. Now, that's what I call a smart update. But besides the big stuff, I heard there are some seriously cool hidden features in iOS 18. You mean the ones that make you wonder how you ever lived without them? Oh, we've got a treasure chest of those. Hit me with your best shot, then. What's the coolest, most unexpected thing I can do with my phone now? Get ready to have your mind blown. Uh, you can take screenshots with just your voice now. Hold on, seriously. No more awkward button combos. Nope. Just say something like, hey, Siri, take a screenshot, and bam, it's saved. That is genius. And something I know I'll use way more than I care to admit, especially when my hands are full or I'm trying to grab something quickly. Speaking of making life easier, did you see they finally added scheduled text sending? Oh, absolutely. Long overdue, if you ask me. Yeah. Perfect for managing different time zones or just avoiding those late night distractions. Compose your message, choose when you want it to send, and let iOS do its thing. This is going to be a game changer, especially when I'm working with people across the globe. No more accidentally waking someone up at 3 AM with a quick question. But OK, tell me more about these hidden gems. What else did Apple sneak in there? How about some on-the-fly math wizardry? The Notes app can solve equations as you write them. Just jot down a problem, and boom, the answer just appears like magic. No way, seriously. I'm opening Notes right now. Go ahead, we'll wait. OK. Wow, that is seriously impressive. This is a game changer for students or anyone who uses math a lot. What about those of us just trying to see in the dark, though? Any improvements there? Ah, you mean the flashlight. Ah. iOS 18 brings super fine-tuned control over your phone's brightness and beam width. Yeah. No more accidentally blinding yourself or others in a dark room. It's the little things, right? I swear, half the time I open my flashlight, I end up seeing stars. But honestly, these hidden gems show how much Apple is focusing on making everyday tasks easier and just more intuitive. It really is all about those small but mighty improvements, you know, the ones that actually make a difference in how we use our devices every single day. Couldn't agree more. It's like they're peeking into our digital lives and thinking, how can we make this even smoother? Speaking of smoother, have you heard about the big upgrade to the Passwords app? Oh, yeah, I saw that. No more digging through settings to find that one login you need, finally giving passwords the attention they deserve. Absolutely. Security is a big deal these days, and this updated Passwords app is like having a digital vault for all your login info. You can generate QR codes for Wi-Fi passwords, see all your saved logins in one spot, 
even create those two-factor authentication codes all super easily. That's huge, especially with how many online accounts we have to juggle these days. Seriously, weight off my shoulders knowing there's a system for that now. Okay, we've covered a ton of practical stuff. What about the fun stuff? Any updates that'll make our iPhones more, well, entertaining? Ah, uh, you mean like bringing your text messages to life? Get ready for some messaging magic. iOS 18 has animated text effects. Wait, for real? No more boring old text bubbles? Yeah, exactly. Want to add some emphasis? Make your message explode? Maybe make it shake? Feeling playful? Try a ripple effect or even a nod? Whole new way to add personality to your texts. That is so cool. I can already imagine the possibilities. Although knowing my friends, they'll probably wear out that explosion effect pretty fast. Does this work with all messaging apps or just iMessage? For now, it's just within the Apple world. Oh, yeah. So you and the person you're texting both need to be on iOS 18 to get the full animated effect. Ah, got it. Still, it's a step in the right direction. Might even convince a few Android users to make the switch. Okay, so we've covered the home screen, control center, photos app, those awesome hidden features, and even some fun new messaging stuff. Anything else major we should have on our radar? Well, if we zoom out and look at the bigger picture, iOS 18 is all about making your iPhone more personal and intuitive. It's not just about adding new bells and whistles. It's about how those features work together to create a really smooth experience that adapts to your needs. I see what you mean. It's like... Apple is trying to make our iPhones more of an extension of us, like anticipating our needs and helping us navigate our digital lives without even thinking about it. Precisely. Making technology fade into the background so we can focus on what actually matters. And that leads to an interesting question. Is Apple just playing catch up with what users have been wanting, or are they actually out there leading the way, defining how we'll interact with our devices in the future? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? It's like they took all the stuff we've been asking for customization, efficiency, a focus on user experience, and actually polished it to a point where it feels genuinely new. Exactly. They've got that knack, you know, mm -hmm. taking an existing idea and really running with it, refining it until it feels fresh and exciting all over again. And speaking of exciting, there's one more thing I got to ask you about before we wrap up. Eye tracking technology. I know it's early days, but the idea that you can control your iPhone just by looking at it, that's uh, wild. It's a total glimpse into the future, yeah, right? Yeah. Still early stages, but the potential is huge, especially for accessibility. Imagine people with mobility issues controlling their entire iPhone with their eyes. That's a whole new level of freedom and independence. Absolutely. That's the kind of tech that can really, truly change lives. And it goes way beyond accessibility, too. Think about gaming, augmented reality, even just using your phone when your hands are busy with something else. It really makes you think, doesn't it? Like, we're so used to tapping and swiping, but what if eye control is the next big thing? It's a trip, right. And it just goes to show that iOS updates aren't only about what our iPhones can do right now, but also, like, a hint at what we might be able to do in the future, pushing those boundaries. Who knows? Maybe in a few years we'll look back at how we use our phones now and just laugh. <laughs> but uh, for now, I am stoked to dive into iOS 18, you know, really explore these new features and make my iPhone like truly mine, my style, my workflow. I'm right there with you. And hey, if you're listening, you find any other hidden gems in iOS 18, we want to know those, wait, I can do that. Yeah. Moments are what make this so fun. For sure. Keep exploring, keep messing around, and seriously, keep that curiosity going. You never know what you'll find.